So I know I'm pretty greasy right now. Like this Friday the 13th t-shirt here. Oh, got that from my good friend. Um, so, I've been wanting to do this video for a while. Um, I'm going to show off my Criterion Blu-ray collection. Because I've been getting them, not even just intentionally collecting them, I've been getting them as gifts and stuff. And I actually just noticed the numbers there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've about nine of them. I'm going to show off them all one by one. I will be reviewing all these movies eventually. Um, you've already seen two of them in my Blu-ray update. But yeah, fuck it. We're going to do it. So, first up, we got The Fisher King. Starring Jeff Bridges, Robin Williams. Terrific movie. I got this for Christmas. Amazing edition. Great fucking cover. Watch this movie at the start of the year. Great Terry Gillian movie. Um, got it for this Christmas 2021, the past Christmas, like obviously 2022 was this year. Uh, no shit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, an amazing fucking print as well. Front, spine, back. I like how it says the runtime there. Uh, and yeah, and then here is the, and of course, I'm gonna walk through. here's the inside. And there's the little thing of... Robin Williams, rest in peace. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna put that back where it uh, came from because, like, I'm a lazy fucker. Right, that goes there. Okay, so that's the Fisher King. Next, we have another movie I got for Christmas 2021, but I watched it at the start of the year. An amazing film, deep cover with Lawrence Fishburne, Jeff Goldblum. Fucking great movie. Um, great action film. I believe it was the the nineties. Yeah, it was nineteen ninety two. Uh, Fisher King was the eighties. Uh, well, I'm not. I think it was eighty three. Was eighty three? Was the eighties anyway. But deep cover, amazing fucking quality, an amazing fucking story. Great acting from Jeff Goldblum and Lawrence Fishburne. I will be reviewing this at some stage. Front spine, back. Oh, I'll show that again. Front, spine, back, and the inside. Got the little booklet again, the disc. Love the design of these cases. Put this there because it's on another shelf that's like complicated. Next, we have the very first Criterion I actually ever got. I got this Christmas 2019, our great Paul Thomas Anderson movie, and that is. Punch Drunk Love. Um, I love Punch Drunk Love, no pun intended. This is a great Adam Sandler movie. It's a great fucking drama. Um, Emily Watson's in it. Amazing print. Not a long film yet. Great performance of Philip Seymour Hoffman. Definitely need to rewatch this because it's a great film. I remember it. Like I could probably do a review of it now, but I do want to rewatch it. Um, brilliant movie. Love it. So here's the front, spine, the back. And then, of course, the inside, you got Adam Sandler. It's, it's definitely a much more great dramatic role. we got that infamous bathroom scene, so I'm going to put that back here. Uh, here we go. And then, I got this for my birthday last year, 2021. We're getting into the Wes Anderson movies now, and that is Bottle Rocket. His very first movie. This was originally a short film, then he made it into a movie. So it has... Obviously, Owen Wilson, Luke Wilson's main character, and of course, uh, Robert Musgrave. Sorry, don't remember his name. And it has the late, great James Caan, who passed away recently. Rest in peace. I meant to do a video about that. But this is a great movie. I definitely got to rewatch it and review it. I've already seen it. Like, I probably, like, I, I don't know if I remember much, but I remember, like, there, there were, like, Robin shit and all. But it's a great film. A very different Wes Anderson movie. But yeah, here's the front, spine, back. I've only seen. Bottle Rocket, Grand Budapest Hotel, The Darjeeling Limited, and Rushmore. <laughs> Spoil the next one. Um, this from the movie, The 75 Year Plan, I remember that. Yeah. Oh, I remember that. So, that's Rushmore. Um, next. No, that's Bottle Rocket. Sorry, fucking hell. Uh, next is Rushmore, and I got this for Christmas 2021 as well. I love this movie. Um, I do like this more than Bottle Rocket. Jason Schwartzman is great. Bill Murray is great in this. Um, this is definitely more of a Wes Anderson feel to it. 
1998. This was 1996, I believe. Yeah, on Porn Strong Love was 2002. Yeah, 2002. From, is it? It's 2002? Yeah, it's 2002. Uh, so Rushmore, great movie, great comedy. Once again, quality on this Blu-ray, unbelievable. Quality on this Blu-ray, unbelievable. So there's the front, spine, black, black, black. Um, then the inside. Uh, yeah, not a great film. And then I've already you've already seen these two. They're still in the plastic. I haven't gotten around to watching them. I'm gonna watch them soon. Is the Royal Tenenbaums. Bombs? Um, I'm gonna actually open it. It's a little unboxing video. Front spine. So front spine back. And I'm gonna open it for you guys now. Yeah, I'm gonna take the plastic off. Um, if I can, that is. So I want to show you the inside. I probably should have done that before the video started. But uh, I wasn't thinking. I don't care. I've been wanting to make this video for a while. So how are you guys? Yeah. You good? I'm good. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, okay. We got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, got it, got it. And right. Where do I have it? Okay, so. There we go. And I'm just gonna. There we go. Took it off. And now is the front spine back. Um. So yeah, there's the disc. We'll be watching this and reviewing it. Um. I'm gonna rush more. Put back. Um. One second over here. Okay, um, that's it. Next we have The Aquatic Life of Steve Zissou. Oh, by the way, I think Bill Murray's in this film as well. I know Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson are. Um, but The Aquatic Life of Steve Zissou, fucking hell. It's nearly two hours. So what's that? So that's 2001, this 2004, okay. Um, so, The Aquatic Life of Steve Zissou. Front, spine, back. Another Wes Anderson. Um, I have more Wes Anderson movies, but I don't. I've got Grand Budapest Hotel, and I have Isle of Dogs, um, but they're not Criterion. I've seen Grand Budapest, I still haven't seen Isle of Dogs. I kind of want to watch uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Yes, I actually haven't seen that, which is insane. Um, I didn't grow up with it. I just I remember when it came out and stuff. I just didn't wasn't interested as a kid, but now I am. So fuck you, man. I hate when the fucking plastic does that shit. Yeah, great. Ooh, there you go. Okay, so here we go. Front, spine, back. And then the inside. I'll be watching and reviewing this soon as well. So there's that. And now we have a fucking fantastic Brian De Palma movie. That is um, Blowout. Starring John Travolta, uh, what's her name, Nancy Allen. You also got uh, John Lithgow. Brilliant movie. This was actually the movie that Tarantino saw that made him want to cast Travolta in Pulp Fiction. Great movie. Brilliant story. Yeah. Um, made in 1981. Fucking hell. And the quality of this Blu-ray is unbelievable. This is before Carrie as well. No, sorry, not Carrie. This was after Carrie. Carrie was the 70s. I meant to say... This was before Scarface, not fucking Carrie. Carrie's the 70s. So, here's the front, spine, back. The quality of this is unbelievable. And I kind of want to watch it again. Um, it's a fantastic movie. There's the Travolta and there's the, the booklet. I don't feel like taking the booklet out because it's like, yeah. And now, last but not least. So, I got, okay. So, as I said, um, before I say it, I got these two for my birthday 2022. And I got uh, this for Christmas 2021. So, saw it recently. Last but not least, I saw this movie on Netflix in 2019. And I got it for Christmas 2020. That is The Irishman. Martin Scorsese movie. I love this film. It's 
unbelievable. It's one of his best. Um, came out in 2019, 209 minutes. Here's the front, spine, back. I haven't actually watched the Blu-ray yet, um, but I'd say it's amazing. But this is a fucking, this is such a detailed like thing. You got the Nero, you got Joe Pesci, you got uh, oh shit, you got Al Pacino, um, the blood thing. The you know I heard you pay houses, which is what the book is, the movie's based off. Um, you got that. There, I be, I don't know if this is a two disc. It possibly like I know it's, it has two discs. I don't know if this is like uh, both sides because you know. One sec. I don't know if that's a bonus disc. I think it is because I know with with the Snyder cut, uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, it was very, uh, you know. It was like two discs, so yeah, guys. But that is it for my Criterion collection. Highly recommend that you guys collect this if you don't already. They're amazing Blu rays, they got some of the best prints ever.